Hey guys, Wolf of 1918 here, uh, and today we're going to be learning how to tie the trottle, or the bayonet knot as it's called in English. Effectively, what these are is they are things to signal what battalion and what company you are part of. Uh, this one in particular is for the 2nd Battalion, 5th uh, Company. Uh, as you can tell by the white frills, white uh, bottom ball, the red middle, and then the smaller white ball on the top. Uh, mine is really dirty as I haven't really gotten around to cleaning it and I've been doing some different events in a lot of dirt and dust. Um, so I need to get it cleaned, but I haven't yet. Um, now, it is a question I get asked a lot, and I've seen asked a lot, is how to tie these properly to the uh, bayonet uh, frog, which is this right here, which holds the bayonet nicely. And for a while, I didn't know myself. I did have an original where the where it was tied through this, like here. Um, and that was just due to the age of the knot. It was like tied something like this. which is not proper. I'm pretty sure that was just done by the person who brought it over overseas or something. Um, so I thought it was like that until I found an, a, um, a tutorial online. And if you're anything like me, you don't do well with just pictures. You need a visual uh, demonstration that is video, which is sort of the purpose of this. I've seen this asked multiple times. People have found the pictures, but they're not too sure. And on top of that, the one good tutorial online from Infantry Regiment 63's website, which there will be a link down in the description if this doesn't really help you too much, um, is slightly inaccurate as it leaves it too long. I'm not too sure why it is that way, but it is. And I've tied mine that way, and I've gotten people saying just do one more wrap. Let it, it needs to be shorter. I will leave a link to IR63's website uh, where their tutorial is in the description of the video. Um, I think that they were using shorter trottles and that, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, so I apologize to anyone who's sitting there cringing. But yeah, I'm gonna post a link to that. I think that they might've had a shorter one, the one that wasn't this long. This one was from Nestov. I think theirs were from Hessen. So I think it depends on which one you have, but they're effectively supposed to sit like right there. So anyway, how you do this um, is you're going to take your bayonet frog and you're going to place it on it like so so that it just kind of sits like that at an angle so you're going to do this oh um, but yeah you should have it sat out like this sort of towards the bottom and reaching out like so so that's how it should look effectively so after you've got it like this, where you, you have a little bit sticking out and you have it going up at an angle, like so, then you're going to take it and you're going to wrap it around the front, like that. So now you have it down here towards the bottom and then this wraps at an angle right up here at the top. That's effectively what it should look like. You're going up at an angle, then you cross and go over at an angle. Now, the next step is you basically take it and you wrap around from the back pretty much straight. You want to keep it nice and tight. Okay, and then that's one wrap. Now the tutorial says to put it through at that point. The tutorial is basically like put it over and then put it in and then you're good. We're going to do one more wrap as if we put it in like that, it's going to, it's going to basically sit like that. That's just a little bit too long. So we're going to do one more quick wrap around. like so, and then we're going to flip it back to the back side. So I do one more quick wrap to where this is coming out, and then I'm going to flip it this way, so it kind of half undoes that wrap. And then we're gonna take this, and we're going to feed it through this loop we have. So this is the back side of it, and we're going to, this is our little knot which was like this, this was like this, and we're going to basically just feed it in. It's a little bit tough um, to do. And there we go. So now you wanna keep this like so. This part's really tricky and I'm still getting used to it, but yeah, so there we go. 
So now this is how it should sit. I think this might be a little bit too long, but there you have your bayonet knot. Um, and this, you can maneuver it just a little bit if you're not, you don't really like the way that it turned out. You can always undo it. Um, but that's basically the gist of tying your bayonet knot. Then you take your bayonet and you just kind of slip it in. You have this little notch here and you're going to want to take that and basically press it in and then push it up. And then take this out. To take out the bayonet, you basically push up on this with your fingers and you just kind of feed it through. Let me just get into a better position. I want it to be shown on the camera, but I could make a mistake here. Like so. So that's basically how to tie a bayonet knot. Um, I'm doing this because on Saturday, we're going to, I'm going to basically go through how to um, put on your uniform. And this is a very important part that a lot of people I've seen ask about. That's about how far it should sit. Uh, I've told, I've been told that this is too long. It should be shorter. I've seen pictures of uh, soldiers having it this long. I've seen pictures of them having it shorter. Uh, talk to your unit uh, specifically. Uh, if this is too long, definitely do one more wrap. I'm probably going to undo it and do one more wrap myself. Um, but it all comes down to unit preference and what people are saying. I've seen enough to say that this length is reasonably fine, although it might be a tad too long. And this might just be because this part right here is just a tiny bit longer than it should be. I've been told that it should sit like right there. So one more wrap would be perfect. Um, but again, it just depends on unit preference and what your unit says. Um, as I've seen some people say that this length is fine. Again, it comes down to preference. I've only been doing this for about a year, two years. So I'm not too <laughs> aware about these things. These things are already hard to spot in photos. So there's not a lot of photograph photographic evidence to sh support either or. I think standard was this height. I'm not too sure. But yeah, if this was helpful uh, and you want to see some more, definitely hit like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Um, if you want to support what I'm doing, uh, you can check out my Teespring shop and my Patreon in the description below. And if you want to keep up with my stuff, I do have an Instagram and a Discord server also linked in the description below. Um, so I will be going through this week, going and tying the next dock, uh, otherwise known as the Hopspinda. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong as well. I'm very bad at um, these words in pronunciation. But that's how you try to tie the throttle. Uh, hopefully that helped you. I know the angle is probably a little bit weird. I've been, I'm trying to figure this out and hopefully it's not too horrendous. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching.